Hey guys, it's Monday, September 26, 2022, and it looks like we've got Hurricane Ian headed our way here in Florida. Uh, this looks like it could be a pretty bad storm, guys, so I want to go over a few things that I'm doing to get prepared, uh, so let's get right into it. All right, so let's start with fuel. Now, most folks have gasoline generators. You want to top off all those five gallon cans and store them in a safe place away from your house and garage. Also top off the 20 pound propane tanks for your grills and griddles so you can keep cooking when the power is out. Uh, I top off my diesel tanks because I have a PTO generator that runs off my tractor. But I did run out and filled up all the empty gas cans I had before the lines formed. And you definitely want to have enough fuel to run those generators. You know, it could be a while, guys. Make sure you're topped off on the fuel. Okay, so next let's talk about power. So there are lots of ways to back up your house when the grid goes down. I've got a complete detailed video on this. I'll link it below. But let's just hit a couple of the options real quick. So you got small inverter generators. You got medium inverter generators that'll power a little bit more and at the same time. Then you've got your bigger generators that'll put out quite a bit more power and you run it into your main panel with a lockout or a transfer switch. You could pick up a PTO generator if you have a tractor. Or you can jump into uh, solar generators and use panels to power off the sun instead of gas. You can get those in small, medium, or if you spend enough money, you can get a battery-backed solar power system that'll run just about your whole house. So I went ahead and got out all my generators, topped them off with fuel, gas, propane, started them up and let them run for about an hour to make sure they are all in good working order. I even got out my uh, PTO generator, hooked it up to the tractor just to have it ready and uh, ran it for about an hour, make sure everything's just all set to go. Next up is the water. So we do keep some gallon jugs of drinking water as a backup, but our main thing is a well. So we can pump 25,000 gallons a day. This is how we get our water. We have a pool as a backup, so we can flush toilets. You could bathe if you had to get cleaned up. So water is critical. Uh, most of you are gonna probably go for the bottled water. So it does sell out fast. You wanna make sure you get to the stores and have a supply. All right, next let's talk about the food. So we'll start with the freezer, and we usually keep this thing topped off. Now, if you're not confident in your generator and your fuel supply, then I wouldn't get too much for a refrigerator and freezer. You want to get more things for like canned goods that are going to last a long time. So if you don't use them during the hurricane, you're going to use them eventually. Uh, stuff like rice, it's really cheap, it's easy to store. Uh, freeze-dried food this is just stuff out of our garden that we canned up over the years but you're gonna want to pick up the stuff that you normally eat cereal and whatever um, freeze-dried foods a good option to have as a backup this is more long-term type storage for bigger problems um, we also keep of course you know a lot of cleaners and um, dishwashing liquid laundry detergents, just bleach, all kinds of stuff. Make sure you got that stuff. But mainly you want to just get the stuff you normally eat that won't go bad and have enough to last you a couple of weeks to get through this hurricane. Okay, so next up I'm going to get my tractors ready to go. So I want to have the right attachments, what I need so I don't have to be you know, swapping things out when the trees are down and the power's out. So right now I got nothing on here. I'm going to put my uh, PTO generator. That's the hardest thing to hook up. Such a pain. We'll get that on there. And over here I'm going to swap this bucket for the grapple so I can get the trees up and be ready to go. Alright, so let's get started on that. So I got my PTO generator all set to go if the power goes out and the grapple's set to go if the trees come down. Speaking of down trees, I also want to make sure my chainsaw is all set to go. So get some mixed fuel ready, top off the gas tank and the bar lubricant. 
you know, crank that thing up and you know, make sure it's in good working order, sharp and ready to go. I also went around the house and just picked up any loose items. I don't want any lounge chairs sitting around. I want to trim back all the trees from the from the building so they're not scraping up against the shingles. And then when I was all done with that, I went ahead and topped off all my tractors and everything. Just You don't want to be doing this stuff the morning of the storm. Okay, and then you want to make sure your chores are all caught up. So you go ahead and run all your dishes. You don't want a bunch of dirty dishes you know when your water's turned off so you know same thing for the laundry just get all your stuff washed up your clothes bedding have everything nice and clean and in good shape so basically uh, there's a lot of other stuff we didn't cover like tarps in case you lose part of your roof plywood to cover your windows um, you know I, I like to get an AC unit and a window unit um, so you can run it off your generator and have at least one cool room that everybody could sleep in. Flashlights, batteries, radios, all the usual stuff, guys. Uh, I'll be checking back in with you, hopefully, uh, as we go through this storm. So thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.